The merino that we're going to be using this year is sourced from Tasmania, uh, a real paradise for merino sheep where muzzling isn't practiced and the sheep's welfare is always first priority. Um, the fibre itself is um, a stunning fibre. The industry standard is around 18.5 microns, which is the finesse of the fibre um, for base layers um, throughout the outdoor industry. The fibre we're using is 17.5, so a full micron under the, um, the industry standard. This might not sound a lot, but actually um, the, the, the hand can really feel the difference and it's a beautifully soft fibre. Uh, the fibre itself is a, is a marvel of nature and still a total enigma to science in that it has a, an incredible affinity for water in its very core. Um, and this gives it a unique characteristic and handle, and that is that the, the fibre itself absorbs the water into the core, so keeping the air pockets between the fibres dry and water free. This means that merino, even when it's damp or absorbed a lot of moisture, keeps a dry, warm feeling. That warm feeling is another additional characteristic about merino in that as the water is absorbed into the fibre, it loses kinetic energy. Now this kinetic energy is then reproduced as latent heat and so wet merino or damp merino is actually warmer than dry merino. This fibre is then um, spun and uh, knitted into a wonderful fabric. Um, it's a standard jersey at around 180 grams per square metre but what makes it special is that the yarn it is spun twice as fine and then twisted together. This uh, technique of two plying the yarn creates a much stronger fabric that is far more durable with a, with a much smoother nicer finish. The garments themselves are very classic so as to make them as accessible as possible um, with the fit slightly fitted um, but never too tight. All in all, um, given the, the, what the rest of the market is offering, we believe that our base layer is not only the best quality base layer out there but also the best value.